Hi friends, welcome to Beautifully Bookish Bethany. In today's video, I am very excited to announce something that I have had in the works for a while, and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm announcing a readathon happening in April called Tor.comathon. <laughs> So I'm really excited about this. I actually had this idea like a year, year and a half ago and have kept it in the back of my mind for a time when I thought I could actually execute on it. And now is the time and I am so excited. I cannot wait for this to be a reality. If you're not familiar with Tor.com, they are one of my favorite imprints. They publish a lot of amazing sci-fi and fantasy books and they do a lot to promote diverse voices, which I also adore. The other thing about them is they publish a lot of novellas and I don't know about you all, but I have have a, a whole stack of their books on my TBR that I haven't read yet. Like, like these, these, oh geez, like all of these. And I just love a lot of what they publish. And I thought it would be fun to invite you all along with me to do a readathon to get to some of the amazing books that they have in their backlist and in their front list. They've got great stuff coming out right now. A lot of my favorite books are published by them and I am so excited about this. So here's what you need to know. Tor.comathon is just a one week readathon. It's gonna be happening from April 16th to April 22nd, 2022. I have a bunch of wonderful booktubers who are going to be joining me as co-hosts. Those include Brandy from Books with Brandy Shanae, Jenna from Bibliophilth, Jessie from The Bookish Mom, Liana from Liana's Library, Angela from Literature Science Alliance, Michael from Fit to be Read, and Michelle from Thor Wants Another Letter. So thank you so much to all of them for joining me as co-hosts. In terms of prompts for this readathon, it is going to be a bingo board style. And what I really like about the bingo board style is I think it makes it more accessible for everybody where even if you are a slow reader, you can't read a lot of books in a week, but you still want to participate, you can definitely join in. You can can try to get a bingo on the bingo board. You can try to get a blackout with the bingo board. If you want to use one book for multiple prompts, I am totally cool with that. Or if you want to do a different book for every prompt, you are more than welcome to do that as well. Whatever works for you is totally cool. This is the bingo board I've come up with and I'm really excited about this. I wanted to do something that highlights all of the amazing voices that we're getting through Tor.com books and novellas. And so some of the prompts include things like read a book by an Asian author, an indigenous author, an LGBT author, a black author, a disabled author, a trans or non-binary author, a non-US author. But then there's also genre things like reading alternate history, reading something with horror elements, African futurism, you could read something with a robot on the cover, a retelling, something set in space, etc. And you might notice that one of these prompts is to read the group book. So you might be wondering, what is the group book? For the group book, I wanted to go with something that I had on my TBR and something that would meet a whole bunch of these prompts so that even if somebody just wants to read the group book, they'll be able to hit on a lot of the prompts from the bingo board. So the book we ended up choosing was Remote Control by Nnedi Okorafor. I'm excited about this. I've heard great things about it. Nnedi Okorafor writes really interesting African futurism and I have liked her things in the past. We are gonna be having a live show on the Friday night at the end of the readathon. So if you wanna join us on my channel, live we will be discussing the group book and also just generally talking about the things that we read and how things went for the week so that's going to be a lot of fun for reference here are the prompts that you can meet just by reading the group book obviously read the group book but also it is under 200 pages read a book with a person on the cover read a book by an lgbt plus author read a book by a disabled author read a book by a black author, read a standalone book, and read a book with African futurism. So even just reading Remote Control, if you want to use this book for multiple things on the bingo board, you can, and this does meet a lot of those. It's not very long, it's just a novella. So I'm hoping that this helps make the readathon fun and accessible for everybody. So if you only have the bandwidth to read one or two books, you are welcome to join us. If you're like, yes, this is amazing. I'm gonna put like a ton of books on my TBR so I can knock out a bunch of those tour.com no novellas that I've had on my TBR forever. Wonderful, you are also welcome to join us and I'm happy to have you. I think it's gonna be really fun. Some of you might be thinking, shoot, I don't know what to read. I need recommendations. 
don't worry, I've got you covered. I will be having recommendation videos coming out in April. So leading up to the readathon, I've got a couple of different book recommendation videos planned that should give you plenty of options to meet all of these different prompts and just you know give you some new exciting books that maybe you didn't know much about before that you might want to check out. We are going to be announcing a schedule where a bunch of us are going to be offering reading sprints at different points throughout the week so that schedule will be coming. Watch this space in the community tab and also if you want to follow me over on Instagram I'll probably be putting that information there. And then the last thing that I want to let you know which I think is very exciting is we have a giveaway. I am so excited about this. The folks over at Tor.com were kind enough to send me two brand new books to give away to you guys with the readathon. So these are the two books. We have Light Chaser by Peter F. Hamilton and Gareth L. Powell. This is a sci-fi novella that sounds really amazing. A love that spans the universe can bring down an empire. Yes, I'm already intrigued. Amale is a light chaser, one of a number of explorers who travel the universe alone except for their onboard AI, trading trinkets for life stories. But when she listens to the stories sent down through the ages, she hears the same voice talking directly to her from different times on different worlds. She comes to understand that something terrible is happening to humanity and only she is in position to do anything about it, and it will cost everything to put it right. It sounds great. And then we also have the highly anticipated Elder Race by Adrian Tchaikovsky. This one is a fantasy novella and it sounds really interesting. It says, I am going to make a momentous decision. Most likely it is a bad decision. Certainly it may be the last decision I ever make. Lynesse is the lowly fourth daughter of the queen, always getting in the way. But a demon is terrorizing the land and now she's an adult, albeit barely, with responsibilities, she tells herself. Although she still gets in the way, she understands that the only way to save her people is to invoke the pact between her family and the elder sorcerer who has inhabited the local tower for as long as her people have lived here, though none in living memory has approached it. The elder Nier isn't a sorcerer, and he is forbidden to help, and his knowledge of science tells him that the threat cannot possibly be a demon. Sounds very exciting. Thank you so much to Tor.com for sending these for the giveaway. So here is how this is going to work. If you're interested in entering the giveaway, there are a few different ways that you can enter by posting your TBR or your completed reads for the readathon. You can do this through a YouTube video, through an Instagram post, through a tweet, however you want to do it, but either show us what you're planning on reading for the readathon or what you end up being able to complete at the end of the readathon. And we'll say that you have until the end of April to get those entries in if you would like to be considered for the giveaway. In terms of who is eligible, these two books are going to be US only just because I have to actually ship them and the cost of shipping internationally is pretty high. However, don't worry if you are not US based, you're not going to be left out. When you do your entry, make sure you tag me in it so that I can see it and know that you're entering. And then let me know if you want to be entered into the US giveaway or the international giveaway. As long as Book Depository ships to your country and you do one of these things to enter, you're eligible for the international giveaway. Whoever wins the international giveaway can select either one of these two books and I will send you a copy. So if you're interested in being entered into the giveaway, don't forget to tag me in your TBR posts or your wrap up posts. And I am so excited to see what you all end up reading. Thank you so much to my co hosts for joining me in this endeavor. And thank you to tour.com for sponsoring a giveaway. I hope you're as excited about this as I am. I think it's going to be really fun. And we're going to do so much great reading. Talk to me in the comments down below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you're planning on joining us. Let me know if you also have a stack of tour.com books that you need to get around to. And keep your eyes out for some recommendation videos coming your way pretty soon. If you guys like this video, it does help if you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time.